Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Line. Myself Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Town Planning. This is the second lecture of this topic. In previous lecture, lecture number one, we have discussed introduction of town planning, principles and necessity of town planning, and lastly, we have covered origin and growth of town. In today's lecture, we will cover two topics. First is land use and second is zoning. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's begin with the land use. In land use, we will cover first what is land use, what are the types of land use, what are the points to be considered in land use planning and what is the importance of land use planning. So let's start with what is land use. Land use means the use of land or plot specified in the town. Okay? Here in figure also you can clearly see all the area of the town is allocated for particular type of use. Okay? It refers to the manner of utilization of land including its allocation, development and management. Land use planning is the planning of the town according to the use of the land. Okay? The land use planning is the planning technique to improve the quality of life in urban areas. Okay? According to the various social economic activities are allocated special in particular area or in the other words areas are assigned specific activities based on various parameters which will help in increasing overall efficiency of the urban area okay this is called as the land use type of planning okay based on use the planning of town or allocation of land or development of land is carried out okay now let's see various types of land uses in town first use is residential use it is used for living purpose like houses flats bungalows hostels lodging etc second use is commercial use it is used for shops shopping centers marketplaces shopping malls etc third is industrial purpose in which factories mills workshops etc are included fourth is public buildings like government offices schools colleges libraries hospitals assembly halls museums historical monuments etc are included Next is various open spaces like parks, grounds, stadiums, swimming pools, etc. Next is transportation in which number of roads, streets, railway stations, airports, seaports, canals, BRPS, etc. are included. Next is agriculture in which cultivated land, farms, nurseries, orchards, etc. are included. Next is vacant land. Okay, it is one type of barren land for future type of future use. Okay, and the last is other uses. Okay, like for uh, disposal area of the waste, graveyards or cemeteries. Okay, these are the various land for other type of use. Okay, these are the various uses of land required in the town. Okay? These are the various uses in different colors. Okay, urban land use map color codes. Okay, like this. Now let's see the land use considerations or the points required in land use planning. First is area allocation. Okay, in which the residential, commercial, recreational, educational, industrial uses are considered, and then area of various zones are allocated depending on the type of the town. Okay, some town is developed for educational purpose, some are, town are developed for residential purpose. So based on that, area is allocated for each type of activity or each type of use. Okay. Second is central business district or you can also call it as CBD zone. The nature and the pattern of development of the existing town, okay, the location of CBD is decided. Okay. Generally CBD or some you can also call as some uh, business activities or shopping malls or markets are at the central part of the area okay 
so it can be easily accessible from all the area of the town okay third is location of various zone in land use planning location of various zone is decided okay the location of various zones should be considered while planning commercial zone should be located in the central part of the town okay for easy accessing by the people okay fourth is nature and pattern of development you have to consider the nature and pattern of development of the town also the demography and population growth of existing town the area of various zones are decided for example some area is already having some industries so you have to allocate or you have to develop that area in industrial zoning okay or for industrial growth fifth is availability of natural resources okay you have to consider this point also while land use planning okay some industries require some resources okay so you have to provide that area for a particular zone only okay the availability and location of natural resources like river lake sea hill etc should be considered while preparing a land use plan okay sixth is topography of the area okay or the level of the area okay should be considered while land use planning next is land price land price are also considered while zoning or while land use planning okay you cannot provide industrial zone where the land price is high okay land use plan is prepared considering the future pattern of development to accommodate future growth okay eight is public services comprehensive land use plan for the town is prepared which includes all amenities and facilities okay for the public and the ninth is existing land use the factors which affects the land suitability for future development are considered and also the standards for new development are proposed and new land use plan is prepared based on the existing land use okay these are the various points to be considered while land use planning now let's see the importance of land use planning why land use planning is important okay it is used to guide the use of the land okay it is used to reach physical economic and social community goals of the people it is used to form the base for the precise plans for zoning so land use planning is the base of zoning without land use planning zoning cannot be possible okay it is used to restrict the misuse of land and regulate the non use of land okay it is used to prevent the formation of slums in this town okay it is used to plan in detail the relation of the town to the region and its iteration with its satellite communities to encourage the upgradation and preservation of existing town okay it is used to guide the public utility services for design of water supply system sewerage system gas line electric distribution street lighting and fire protection land use planning is important okay it is also used to guide the reuse of the land okay it is used to set the standards for guidance to all who engage in urban development okay so land use planning is necessary for town planners to set various standards or rules for particular type of zones okay these are the various importance of land use plan that's all about land use now let's move to the second topic in today's lecture which is zoning in zoning we will cover first what is zoning what is the importance of zoning second various principles of zoning and lastly we will cover various objectives and advantages of zoning first is what is zoning okay it represents a location of land for a specific purpose and control the use height and construction of the building in particular zone okay so here the control word is added after land use plan okay it is the creation by law of the zones like residential commercial industrial institutional in which the regulations prevent the misuse of land and buildings and control their height population densities 
differing in different zones okay so here in zoning the regulations are employed okay in land use planning there are no regulations only allocation and development is there okay in zoning regulation of law or creation of law is added okay this is the town planning map of Ahmedabad here you can clearly see the number of type of zone in different type of colors okay here green zone which is the uh, prime agriculture zones you can see okay light green color is the agriculture type of zone okay yellow is for residential zone okay there are various type of zone are included in tp or town planning map this is how zoning is done in the town okay now let's understand importance of zoning why this zoning is important okay. because zoning sets apart different areas in town for specific purposes okay it prevents encouragement of one zone on the other means zoning regulates number of industries in residential area okay it guarantees orderly development of the town it is a major step to control and regulate use and height of the building okay zoning increases utility beauty and efficiency of the town these are the various importance of zoning now let's understand the principles of the zoning or the points to be considered while zoning first principle is arrangement of various zones okay here zones may follow usual patterns of concentric bands like central area sub central area intermediate area or on developed area okay you have to arrange this type of zones in while zoning in the zoning you have to arrange different zones in different area okay where residential area should be there where industrial area should be there you have to decide okay second is marking of boundaries after deciding the location of zone okay you have to mark the boundary of each zone for boundary of each zone there are some consideration should be made like uh, some road is there at the boundary some railway line some drainage line some park or some open green spaces are your boundary okay third is flexibility in the zoning zoning should be rigidly enforced but have some flexibility in use like small shopping centers should be allowed in residential area okay place work should be nearer to the residential area okay these are the various flexibility points to be considered while zoning okay fourth is existing town you have to consider the existing town route while zone it should be divided into zones by considering the predominant use of particular area okay and the last is new town okay if you develop the new town you have to consider the population their uh, living accommodation requirement their open spaces requirement their commercial requirement their recreation requirement and then decides the area of each zone okay so these are the points to be considered while zoning okay now let's understand various objectives and advantages of zoning first we will understand objectives of zoning okay for what reason zoning is required first it is used to design or maintain the future growth of the town second it is used to provide proper coordination of various public utility services like gas line electricity line okay etc third is it is used to increase utility beauty and efficiency of the town okay fourth it is used to mark town planning scheme effective and successful fifth it is done to secure orderly growth of the town okay sixth it is done to promote health safety convenience and general welfare of the people so these are the various objectives of zoning okay now let's understand the advantages of zoning first advantage it reduces the chances of fire in the buildings because in zoning there is some regulation in the margin of the building so you have to provide side margins surrounding your building okay so reduces the chances of fire in the other building 
second is it controls future growth of the town third is public amenities like gardens parks schools have proper locations because of zoning fourth it prevents to establish industries on residential area okay fifth it regulates the density of population okay and the last is it promotes economic use of public utility services these are the six advantage of zoning okay that's all about zoning i hope you all understand what is land use planning what is the necessity of land use planning what are the principles what are the objectives of land use planning what is zoning what are the advantages and objectives of zoning what are the principles of zoning and what is the importance of zoning okay see you soon in the next lecture thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel civil line thank you